Um, you do, of course, have myself, Kelly, the lead facilitator, and the team of facilitators who will again be joining your groups throughout the weekend and the rest of the process. I'm sure we'll give you a little wave now. Um, we also are joined by our support team who are just there to make sure that things go smoothly, that you have the technical support that you need um, to be able to take part and any other support too. And we are also joined by John Ward, who is our evidence lead for um, the topic that we'll be focusing on today, which is work, but we'll tell you more about that in a moment. And we also have some people from this secretariat and may have some people from the stewarding group um, joining over the course of the weekend too, but they'll all have that in their name. Um, and of course, we also have our research team as well, if they wouldn't mind um, just giving a wee wave if they are on camera, um, who will be joining some of the groups uh, if you have given consent to take part in the research too. Um, of course, if you have any problems at all over the course of this weekend, please do get in touch with the support team. They're here there to help troubleshoot any issues that you're having. Um, and of course, if there's anything you want to flag to your facilitator to pass on, that's absolutely fine too. But we're here to support you to make sure this works and to make sure that we're all deliberating uh, and capturing all the stuff that you want to say. Um, so just a reminder before we do get going as well about the viewing options within Zoom. I know when we've shown videos, some people have thought that the screen was a little bit small. Um, but if you look at the top right hand corner of your screen, you do have the ability to change how you view Zoom. So if you're looking at it now, you can uh, have a speaker view. So that means you've got me in the center and everyone else is little. Or you can have a gallery view, which means that you'll be able to see everyone that, uh, that's on the call in a kind of equal sized box. Um, but there are different viewing settings as well when watching the videos. So please do um, select one that might make the, the screen a bit bigger if that's what you would like to do. Okay, so I am just going to run through briefly the agenda for this weekend. And as always, a wee reminder about why we're here and the question that we're focusing on. Um, so, of course, our key question, we always need to keep this in mind, is how should Scotland change to tackle the climate emergency in an effective and fair way? And we are on the fourth weekend of the process. Um, there are six weekends that we have booked in, but actually this weekend is the weekend where you will be deciding whether or not you want to add a seventh weekend. Um, we'll tell you a little bit more about that later today, but you will have the option uh, to vote on whether or not you think we need a seventh weekend um, in order to get through the work, come up with a really strong set of recommendations to answer the question that we have been set. So what are we gonna do today? So as I said, we are focusing on the second aspect of our topic. So we've we've done travel, but now we're shifting our focus to look at work. Um, first thing to say, what we did last week with travel, uh, that was not a done deal by any means. We will be coming back to that over the course of this weekend and then into next weekend. So there are opportunities for you to look at what you've already come up with, um, to go through a process of kind of adding reflection and refinement. Uh, and to kind of hone in on what it is that you really want to say. So we will be coming back to that just to, to start off. So we are focusing on work. Uh, so this morning we will be getting an introduction to the topic questions around work, those two questions. Um, and John will give a, a short introduction there. And then you'll have the opportunity to go into your groups and to reflect um, on both what you heard there, but also on the key priorities, if you remember, that came out previously um, from weekend two, just like we did when we looked at the travel questions. Um, there will then be a presentation to give an overview of the key issues on question three, and then back into the groups to explore and to understand some of those key issues and problems and their relationship to climate change. We will then be hearing some inputs on different perspectives on how the best types of change needed to Scotland's existing work practices can be delivered. And then we'll be exploring some of the different proposals for change and beginning to identify the provisional areas of opportunity for the focus of the recommendations that you would like to make on that. So in relation to work practices. Today, you'll also, um, when we come back after lunch, we'll be reviewing the process for developing recommendations and you'll be discussing whether or not we need weekend seven. So that's just a moment to pause and for you as assembly members to reflect on the process that we're going through um, to say anything that you think needs to be shared or, or discussed or aired at that point about the process we're going through. Um, and of course, then to talk about whether or not we do need a little bit more time to get where we need to get. We will then this afternoon also begin the process of building those recommendations for question three. Again, following the process that we went through for travel. So you'll be back on your jam boards with that template. 
And then to end today, we will be having um, a, a review of those fairness propositions, which you may remember um, you came up with in weekend two. Uh, we'll be having a, a bit of a discussion in your groups around those, kind of looking at, at what's come out, some of the things um, that may seem a little bit um, contradictory uh, and some of the things that you think are probably the most important stuff to focus on. And then what we have done um, if, is we set up a vote that you can do overnight for you to look at the, the propositions that you think are most important for us um, to include as a set for when we come to the recommendations and we're kind of reflecting um, on the, the question of fairness whilst we're reviewing those recommendations. And we've done it so that you, you have a little bit of time to sit back after day after you've heard everyone's discussions um, and to just complete that in a, a longer set of time rather than kind of pressuring you to vote on that through the course of today. So hopefully that works for you, but of course, we'll let you know how that is going to work. Tomorrow, we are gonna repeat the evidence taking and developing ideas for recommendation in relation to the second aspect of work, which is then gonna be supporting people to change work practices. So you'll start the day with some presentations, again, to give an overview of the key issues around um, work uh, support to change work. So that fourth question in the stream, You'll be uh, discussing and exploring some of the um, key issues and problems in relation to climate change. You'll then hear some input on different perspectives on how best types of changes needed to Scotland's existing support to change work can be delivered. And then you'll be exploring some different proposals for change, beginning to identify those provisional areas and beginning the process of building recommendations for question four. So then that will, will take us to having um, those templates filled out for the four key questions for this work stream. So in the afternoon, we'll be coming back then to what we did last weekend. And you'll have the opportunity to review and refine um, around question one and two, so that the subject of travel and start just giving a bit of feedback and doing some refinement um, in order just to tweak things a little bit before we bring stuff back next weekend. And you're really, really then focusing on the development of the recommendations for the entire work stream for both travel and for work. So it sounds like it's quite a lot to get through this weekend, um, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. And, and hopefully it's a, it feels like a really great opportunity for you to really um, pinpoint where it is that you want to start making some recommendations, start identifying a few gaps in what we've done previously and just getting them noted um, and hopefully doing what feels like a really, really good set, uh, set of work before we come back next weekend. Um, and really, really get down um, with what the recommendations you want to make are. Um, if you want a, a reminder of the lunchtime, it is from 12.30 to 2 p.m. today. So we will be breaking at 12.30 for lunch and coming back at 2. OK, so um, before we get started, of course, always just a reminder of the conversation guidelines. Um, I won't go through what they are in detail, but, but please do um, bear the conversation guidelines in mind, especially as we're going through the difficult tasks of starting to develop and pinpoint the recommendations that we want to make. So that's all from me just now. I am going to hand over to John, who is going to be our evidence lead as we go through the work questions. John, over to you to introduce. Hi Kelly, morning everybody. Uh, it's lovely to see you all again and welcome back. I uh, hope you're looking forward to another uh, exciting and interesting weekend. Um, as Kelly mentioned, uh, today we're going to be focusing on the issue of work. And let me just see if I can share my screen, if that works. So yes, we're, we're going to be looking at the issue of work. Um, and when I was doing a little bit of research for this, I found a stat which said that apparently an average person spends around about 85,000 hours in their lifetime at work. Um, and so it's perhaps not surprising when we're spending that, that amount of time on average at work, but we do really need to think very carefully about how that time is being spent and what it is being spent doing if we are going to tackle the climate emergency in a, in, in a fair and effective way. At the same time, we also know that the absence of work or the difficulty in securing safe and secure employment is a, a huge driver of personal, social and economic challenge. And we really need to think very hard and very carefully about how we can ensure that as we embark on the low carbon and climate resilient transition, we can actually give people the, the job opportunities that will allow them to have a productive and fulfilling career. So with that in mind, there are two questions which we're going to be exploring over the course of a weekend in relation to work. 
The fourth one, which will be the focus of today, is around how we spend our time at work, how we travel to work, what our working practices are, and specifically, how should Scotland change its working practices to tackle the climate emergency in an effective and fair way. So that will be the focus of today. And then tomorrow we'll go on to look at the question of what sort of work people should be doing or could be doing and what are the skills that they are going to need in order to be able to thrive in with the low carbon industries that we're going to need. And therefore specifically the question we have tomorrow is how should Scotland support people to change work and tackle the climate emergency in an effective and fair way. That's all from me for now. Uh, I'm back over to Kelly, I think. Super John, thank you very much. Um, so just to remind you at the end of weekend two, you all voted on a, a series of priorities that you felt were most important for the group selected to look at each topic to focus on. So we are going to go into our breakout rooms now. Um, you'll have a bit of time, of course, to, to get introduced to your new group. It is a different group from last weekend. Um, and to just review some of those uh, things that came out around work previously. OK, so open breakout rooms and we will be back here soon. Welcome back. Uh, thanks for the, the icebreaker and the initial reflection there. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hear the first of the evidence presentations today to help us to answer the question, which is question three within our work stream. How should Scotland change its working, working practices to tackle the climate emergency in an effective and fair way? So just a reminder, um, there is going to be, of course, uh, quite a bit of information again over the course of today. So it's really helpful if you do have a way of capturing notes uh, that works for you. We are going to have a pause after each of the videos. And as they are playing, there's a few things to think about, including what are the biggest challenges and most important things to address? What does Scotland need to achieve? And what are the drivers and the blockers of change? But as I said, please do um, take notes in, in a way that works for you. So I'm going to hand back over to John now, who is going to introduce the first presentation. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Kelly. Uh, so we're going straight into the first video. Um, I'm afraid you have the misfortune, um, but I'm actually got the slight, slightly strange position of introducing myself. Um, so there'll be a, a video now from myself looking at the question of how should Scotland change its working practices to tackle a climate emergency in an effective and fair way. And just to remind you, as Kelly said, there will be a minute or so after the uh, video ends, just to kind of allow you to have an opportunity to collect your thoughts and, and, and take down any important notes that you'd like to. Okay, thank you for, for just taking a, just over a minute there to um, just sit with your thoughts and, and take any notes that work for you. Um, just to let you know that we are gonna be going into our breakouts in a second, but John is here. Uh, so video John and real John, you saw there, but, but real John is here with us um, if you would uh, have any questions as we go into our breakouts there. So thank you, uh, thank you to John for that. Okay, um, so we're gonna go into our breakouts now just to have a reflection on what we've heard there. Um, and you know, think about what are some of the biggest challenges, the most important things to address? What is it that Scotland needs to achieve here? And what seems to be driving change at present and what might be blocking it as well? So you might remember some of those prompt questions when we, from when we discussed travel. So we'll be having the same kind of conversation here, but in relation um, to work. So if we could open our breakout rooms and I will see you back here in a pretty good chunk of time. Okay, hey, welcome back everyone. I hope you had a, a good wee break just there. So we are now gonna hear from four different presenters who each bring a different perspective on how best the types of changes needed to Scotland uh, can be delivered. So this is just a reminder that unlike the informant presentation, which you heard a bit earlier, that that presentation was designed to set out the context of the problem. These presentations that you're about to hear are here to make suggestions to you about the types of things that the presenters believe should be done to address the challenges. And um, just a reminder that in advance of the weekend as well, you were, you were sent a note just as you were last weekend, which was a, a template that we'd like you to use during this exercise. It's the one that looks a little bit like the rainbow with the levels of change. So please do have that to hand if that is possible, 
or think about how you might be able to organize your notes in a way under the same headings. Um, but please do capture some notes in a way that works for you and use that template. So John, I'm gonna hand over to you and uh, you're gonna take us through the four presentations that we hear. And of course, we're gonna have a moment of reflection between each of those presentations too. Fantastic, thank you very much, Kelly. Well, uh, without any further ado, um, let us go straight into the first uh, video, which is uh, by Will Strong from the Think Tank Autonomy. And he's gonna be talking to us about the environmental, social and economic benefits of a four day working week. Many thanks. If we can now move on to the second video, which is from Jamie Cook uh, from the Royal Society of Arts, Manufacture and Commerce who's going to talk to us about uh, universal basic income and the way that this can uh, put, uh, work to address the climate emergency. I just think, I think John's connection drops just for, for a second there. Um, but um, as John was just saying, um, Jamie Cook is gonna talk about universal basic income to create a fair and more secure and sustainable future. Great. So if we can now move on to the, the third video, we're now going to hear from Catherine Trebek from the Wellbeing Economy Alliance, who's going to be talking about the way we think about measuring economic performance and whether changes in the way we think about economic performance can bring about both the support of the transition to a, a, a low carbon economy, as well as deliver other benefits for society. Great. OK, so if we could now move on to the fourth and final presentation for this session, uh, we're going to have a video from David Simons, who's going to be uh, from the consultancy uh, WSP, who's going to be talking to us about flexible and remote working and whether or not it really is better for our carbon footprint and in what circumstances. Okay, brilliant, everyone. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to reflect on that video. Um, just so you know, we're going to have another two minutes just for you to consolidate your thinking before we go back into our breakout rooms. Um, but just to say, as you're doing that consolidation, um, start thinking about what stood out to you from the presentations and anything else that you've heard or discussed and any you know, particularly good or exciting or effective ideas that seem to be coming out for you. Um, and just so you know, all of the speakers you heard from there will be available to join your groups in the next session if you do have any questions. So just two minutes now just to consolidate your thinking, then into breakouts. Okay, I'll just bring us back to, together now, just give you a few seconds to finish off your sentences if, you're, if you are capturing notes or anything. Great, okay, so um, thank you again to all of you for listening um, and to, um, to all of our speakers, of course, for their excellent contributions to John for guiding us through all of that too. So we're now gonna be going into our breakout groups for the next wee while, and we're gonna be exploring some of those advocate proposals that you heard there and starting to do, identify some priorities. So we could open up our breakouts and we'll see you back in a little while.